The Patriots will be in an unfamiliar role at Arrowhead on Sunday as an underdog. The Chiefs are favored by three points despite losing 43-40 to New England back in October. In that game, Tom Brady threw for over 300 yards and drove New England down the field for the game-winning field goal at the buzzer. Patrick Mahomes threw four touchdown passes, but he uh, was also picked off twice. Shannon, what did that last meeting tell you? Well, um, these teams are, are, are closer than we than you think. Mm -hmm. um, the Chiefs made a lot of mistakes um, that helped the Patriots win. And what the Patriots do better than anybody else, they make you pay for your mistakes. And normally they make you pay double because not only do they take the ball away from you and limit your ability to put points on the board, but they normally go down the other way and get seven points. Uh, they got 13 more first down skip. They had the ball 13 more minutes. Uh, they ran 22 more plays. Um, and, and the Chiefs, if you look at it, they only had five penalties, but New England had, didn't have any. And when you play New England in their building, you almost have to play a perfect game. And Mahomes, they weren't very good, Skip, with, go, with a, a red zone situation. Um, they were terrible on third downs. Patriots were bare, over 50% on third down. And when you add all of that up and for it to come down, when you run the ball, have 22 more plays, and possess the ball 13 more minutes, and you need a walk-off field goal to win, that lets you know just how explosive uh, the Kansas City, the, the Chiefs' mm -hmm. offense is. The thing that I hate, Skip, about the game Sunday is that it's going to be in sub-zero temperature. I don't really think a football game should be... Just imagine if you played the NBA Finals and it was about <laughs> who could shoot the best jumper yeah, in 10-degree weather. Mm. I, I buy this. I don't like it either. It's part of the game, though. Yeah. But, <clears throat> so, but with that being said, they made enough mistakes. Uh, they didn't really take away anything. Um, I'm surprised they were able to get back into the ball game. Considering, Skip, they were down 24-9. Pat Mahomes threw an interception mm -hmm. right before uh, the first half ended. That they, they were going to get a worst-case scenario field goal, so it's going to be 24-12. It ended up being 24-9 to, uh, to start the second half. Patriots still have no answer for Tyreek Hill. They don't have an answer for Travis Kelsey. Um, but the, pay, the, uh, the Chiefs are going to have to make an honest decision with themselves. What are we willing to live with? Sonny Michelle got what he wanted in the run game. Tom Brady got what he wanted in the pass game. You must take something away. If you let the Patriots run it, you let them throw it, you have zero. I, I don't know if there's there a term less than zero. What's the lowest you can go? Yeah, that's there's it. zero chance you beat the New England Patriots if you take away nothing. Mm. Man, I saw a different game than you saw. Back in what was October. week six, mm -hmm. October the 14th. Okay. Sunday night at Foxborough. Okay. The harder I look at what happened, the more I think it comes down to Sunday night at Kansas City and maybe sub zero temperature, Brady or bust. I'm going to say it again, and it's even scarier the harder I look at what happened on October 14th. This is the least amount of help Tom Brady has ever had especially on the defensive side of the ball, because this night was staggering what happened, because the kid Mahomes threw two interceptions in the first half that put them in a hole. One high tower took all the way down to the four-yard line, so that's right. a gift. Right. And at the end of the half, he gave the Patriots another gift because they had it down all the way, what were they, first and 10 at the 15? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were at the New England 15 with 17 seconds left, and he just wild-eyed flung it into the middle of coverage in the end zone. It gets tipped up in the air, and Deron Harmon comes down with it. So that right. costs seven right there, if not just three. So despite all that, despite it was 24-9 to nine at halftime, mm -hmm. the Kansas City Chiefs scored 31 points in the second half. That was the most second-half points allowed, tied for the most, of any team in the whole league all year. 31 points at home in the second half. That is horrifying. And they came all the way back to, what was it? They, they led 33 to 30. So they, they took the lead 33. And, and how did they take the lead? On a special teams breakdown that allowed a 97-yard kickoff return that set up a little gift easy touchdown. Mm -hmm. So that put Kansas City ahead in this game 33 to 30. By the way, Kansas City for the game averaged 8.4 yards per play. Yeah. Per play? Yeah. That's horrendously bad defense. And by the way, they just kept on keeping on because it was 40 to 40 at one point. But after they went ahead 33 to 30, what was a turning point in the game? It was the 41-year-old quarterback 
running for a touchdown, if we could please yes. see yeah. that, because it was yes. something. Because he's obviously not much of a runner. We saw his 40-yard dash at the combine, all-time ugly 40. <laughs> and here, again, Chris Collinsworth made the point that he thought that kid Breland Speaks, the second rounder out of mm -hmm. Ole Miss, the rookie, thought he quit on the play because he's afraid he was going to hurt Brady or, you know, like yeah. rough him. And I don't think, I think he just lost him on the play. And mm -hmm. Brady said, I got this. I'm going to have to take it myself. Now, there was a defensive hold on the play, so it was going to be a first down anyway, but he did take it home, and I think it inspired the home crowd and the home team, and all of a sudden, they jump back ahead, 37-33. Then there's a quick three and out, so I give the defense. That was the only time in the second half they went three and out, and all of a sudden, Tom Brady hits, what, what was that guy's name? Do you remember that guy named Gronkowski? Oh, he yeah. hit him that night for 42 yards that set up a field goal that put him up 10, and then here came, again, 75 yards to Tyreek after that. A 75-yard pass? That's just like here. You, it's like a video game. Pew, just just hit the button, and it's well, another touchdown. Well, you know, Skip, Tyreek is explosive. Okay. He's very unique. Well, in well the they game. don't have an answer for that. No, no, they don't. Because all of a sudden, it's 40 to 40. And then guess who took over again? That guy took right. over again. Mm -hmm. That guy number 12 up in Foxborough that you just should never bet against because he goes seven plays, 65 yards. He hits Edelman for seven, he hits little James White for 16, and then he hits that guy formerly known as Rob Gronkowski for 37 yards, and that's it. That sets up the field goal, and they can just kill the rest of the clock, and they get a 28-yard walk-off field goal. So it's really just Tom Brady. Here it is to Gronkowski. It's, it's just Tom Brady overcoming his defense mm -hmm. and his special teams. That's it. That's the play of the game right there. That salts away the rest of the game with the 28-yard right. field goal. So the point is, if he doesn't throw for 182 yards in the fourth quarter alone, they're not going to hold off Kansas City because the defense is, is hapless. It can't rush the passer. It was second to last in rushing the pass. I know they got after Phillip Rivers. That was a shock. I don't think they're going to get after Patrick Mahomes on Saturday night in Kansas yeah. City like it's they did. It's a lot easier to rush the pass at, at, uh, at home than it I is I think on it the is. Road. I, I agree uh, with that. But, you know, Skip, there, there's a lot of mistakes. I mean, the Chiefs made some mistakes, too. You can't, you can't, I mean, you lose a game by three points and you have 13 fewer uh, uh, first downs. You have the ball 12 and a half, 13 mm -hmm. fewer minutes. You run 22 fewer plays. You're really, you're 40% on third down. Uh, you're what? 35, 40% in the red zone, and you only lose by three. I've said this before, Skip. I've always felt it's easier to win a game after you lose and you play that team again mm -hmm. in the same season than yeah. it is to win. Because what mistakes did you make? I mean, you can say, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we, we, we can play better. Yeah, you mm -hmm. can play better. But Tom Brady was almost flawless. Okay. So his leading receiver on that October 14th Sunday night was Rob Gronkowski, who caught only three balls, but for 97 yards. Mm -hmm. Do you think Gronk will have 97 yards worth of catches at Kansas City on Sunday night? I don't think so. I just don't think, I think he's broken down shell of himself. Yeah. He caught one ball the other day and the whole stadium went crazy like, oh, we remember him, uh -huh. right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. do you trust this? And by the way, Josh Gordon played that night and caught five balls for 42 yards. At least he was a threat. You remember the one he caught between the two when he went up over both of them and he caught did. the ball for a touchdown. So at least he was, he was drawing attention in yes. the secondary, yes. right? Yes. Absolutely. He is obviously no longer a New England Patriot. I think Rob Gronkowski is basically no longer a New England Patriot. So now it's down to Edelman and James White. That night they caught four balls and five balls for 54 yards and 53 yards. Okay, he just kind of mixed and matched it. Chris Hogan caught four balls for 78 yards, so he did a little more damage. Mm -hmm. Can those three do enough damage at Kansas City? I don't know. And what? how much better can the defense play at Kansas City on Sunday night than they did on October 14th? I, I just don't know because Sammy Watkins wasn't much of a factor, and all of a sudden, he's breaking back out for them. Mm -hmm. He's starting to really cause problems. Well, the thing is, James, uh, Sonny Michelle, you know, he, he's, he's been there the most ball. of the yeah. year. Yeah, He's going to run the ball really well. And, but okay. Tom Brady, Skip, listen, Tom Brady does not, he doesn't, the thing that you have to love most about him is that he doesn't try to have, well, oh, y'all give me the short stuff. Oh, y'all don't want to take, y'all want to take away everything deep. Well, I'm going to go deep. I'm going to show you I can get the deep ball. Tom's like, okay. Y'all want to take away the deep stuff? Okay, fine. Guess what? We'll go five, We'll go down the field, 
five and three yards at a time mm -hmm. and do, get the same result if we were to go 60 yards in one play. Mm -hmm. I feel uh, we feel that comfortable in what we do. Mm -hmm. Because normally, team, you like, Skip, you want them to drag this thing out. You, the longer you go, the more apt I can get a sack, I can get a tip ball, I can pull the ball out. Mm -hmm. But the Patriots does such a great job of holding on to the football, mm -hmm. and they don't beat themselves. So okay. they'll methodically go down the field, 10 plays, 12 plays, 15 plays, punch the ball in the end zone where you need one or two plays, but they don't give you the big chunk plays. It's hard to defense this team, Skip, because they got two dynamic playmakers at the receiver position. They got uh, Tyreek Hill, and they got Travis Kelsey. I call him receiver, but he's a tight end. He is. Who do you take away? I don't know. Because if you double those two guys, do you really want Sammy Watkins going one-on-one -on -one with someone? I keep telling you, Brady doesn't have a Tyreek, and he doesn't have a Kelsey Watkins. So you've got three weapons that he doesn't have. Well, he used to have them. Huh? He had Gronk. And yeah. nobody said, nobody, when, Once he, upon and, a time. And, and when Tom Brady was playing them, you didn't say the opposing quarterback didn't have Gronk hmm. or he didn't have a 29-year-old Julian Edelman. But now all that of a sudden... That was back when Brady had Gronk and he no longer really has Gronk. But, he, but did you didn't make that... Yeah. Uh, all I'm okay. saying is well, that you didn't make that argument for the opposing quarterback. Well, he had didn't somebody have in the past, right? Were they now, Gronk? He doesn't have much of, of the receiving cores left in the playoffs. I think you'd say this is probably the worst one, wouldn't you? Uh, again, is there a Michael Thomas here? I know New Orleans don't have much after him. Right. But they have a Ted Ginn Jr. Brady would take Ted Ginn Jr. on Sunday night and be really happy with him. No, Ted said, yeah. I don't want to play in that way. No, he doesn't. Well, <laughs> I want right. to play, he I play, play in that dome. There. I no. want to play in the dome. Okay. So all of a sudden, how can Brady, unless, re remember, wh what does Kansas City do the best on defense? They, have, like, they, a, the they had the most sacks in the league, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they got Brady twice in that October 14th right. game, and Breland stripped Brady on one uh, one yeah. play in the third quarter, and they and he lost a fumble. Right. So they got a lot of heat on Tom Brady, and the Patriots got no heat on Patrick Mahomes. So can they flip that script? Because I, the I thing know. is, it's hard to rush a guy like because Coach Belichick doesn't like to really yeah. rush guys like Pat yeah. Mahomes because yeah. he got legs and he'll jump oh. out the window and he'll oh. go down the field. He, so, he likes to get outside the pocket. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. Coach Coach Belichick normally he likes to play yeah. straight down a man. Yeah. Let's keep everything in front of us. Mm -hmm. Not nothing cheap, nothing deep, and we'll see what happens. If they can go 16 yards, drive in, drive out, and get the ball in the end zone, we'll live with that. Mm. But we just don't want to give up the big plays. Now the Tyreek skip skip. That's a very unique situation. The dude just basically catches a 15-yard pass down the field. Mm. His feet hit the dirt, and he pieces mm. out the safety because there's too much separation between him mm. and, and the DB. Wow. So my takeaway is it's Tom Brady or nothing. It's you know, like like what? Well, it, it's but but it's just him alone. I I don't know. But so so you, how, you how, do, talk you, about how do you think, how do you, how do you you know, the defense played? How do you think the defense played on Sunday? They they did okay until the second half when Philip Rivers started doing what Mahomes did in the second half. He started torching. Skip. Philip Rivers threw for uh, 210 in the skip. second half. So Guess question. what the second half score was at Foxborough on Sunday? It was 21 to 6 Chargers. I know it was a route at halftime. Yeah. And I know they just sat back and said, we're not gonna, we'll right. bend right. and bend right. and bend. But they broke a bunch of times. Are in you the so half. let me ask you a question? So you wanna mm -hmm. at 35-7, you wanna mm -hmm. take the same risk that you took to get that lead in order to keep that lead? We have seen defenses in the past in this league. I can start naming because they all have nicknames to sure. them. If you gave them a 35-7 lead at halftime, it probably would have been 35 to nothing, and then they would just shut you out. You would have no prayer in the second half. But that's this not, defense can't do that. But no, but, that, but they normally, those defenses, Skip, they have a one guy that can go get home. Mm -hmm. They don't have that. Mm -mm. I mean, their best pass rusher is is Trey 93. Flowers. Yeah, yeah. Flowers. Yeah. And, he, and he got they got they got decent right. pressure. Yeah. So it's gonna be interesting to see if they can still muster that kind of pressure on a, on my homeboys. As long MVP. as I got number twelve, I got a chance. I got the I MVP. Have to agree yeah. with you, Steph. You, yeah. I agree oh, with thank you, you Jim. How can you not root against Tom Brady? Mm. Think about experience. He started eighteen seasons. Mahomes has started eighteen games. Yeah. I mean, Ooh. those two numbers. And one guy. And one guy about to be the. Not and, take full credit. And one guy about to be the MVP in his really? second season. Really? How yeah. long did it take Tom Brady to do that? Is he going to be the MVP on Sunday night? Yep. <sighs> Is he? Oh, my homeboy. Who do my you experience. like in Sub Zero? I think I'll take twelve in Sub Zero. Yeah. Example. When you've been oh, there well, before, like you've gotten it done in the past. <laughs> Sorry, Shannon. Yeah, I'm with this guy. Uh, we have been following Kyler Murray and what he may do, his future.